hand-sized formation of uh, uh, a preciated manganese matrix and perched on that are these olmiate crystals, a, a sort of a pink going into a reddish. Now, quite interesting various factors about the olmiate. Now, uh, when you take it in, in natural light, as I'm doing now, I'm, I'm, I'm videoing in shade, it has a certain color. When you take it on synthetic light inside, the, the color changes slightly. Maybe it gives it a more pinkish look. And then under, under short wave UV light, we've got a pink to red color. So these are highly fluorescent. That would be the Olmiat crystals. The little white uh, uh, dusting you see in between would be oilite, uh, little sprays of oilite needles. And also sitting on the manganese matrix, I think you may see a little bit there, would be tiny, tiny calcite crystals. So uh, a view in totality, let's take a sideways view of the guy. Lovely piece, um, hand-sized uh, specimen, not a lot of matrix, so not super heavy. But really, really quite a vibrant piece. We can have a look at the back. Uh, also, not at all unappealing, but I'd stick to the front. And what I'm going to do now, we're going to go in a little bit closer. So we, let's see if we can actually see those little fur balls, the little white fur balls of the oil light on the Olmi out there. You see slightly different color. Lovely, vibrant piece and fluorescent under short wave UV light. Lovely cabinet size specimen. All the way from the uh, Kalahari manganese fields in the northern cape of South Africa from the Channing 2 mine.